Hello, today I welcome you from our Rain Japan company, which you will be able to build thanks to Race to Mars. As you can see, the weather isn't the friendliest today, what makes the rocket launching impossible. But this is not what we will show and tell about today, because right now we will focus on the game mechanics. That is, what you can do and how will it look like. All of this with regards to your many questions about how the game will be played. What you see now is the main game screen. Why it looks like this we explained in an earlier update, but today we would like to show you some of the smaller things of which we are quite proud. The first one has just been enabled, the lightning system, which reacts to how much light there is in the scene, so with regards to the weather or time of the day, the light in the buildings or lamps will automatically toggle. Right now I am moving the camera, in fact the only one the player has control over. Right here we have a tiny little helicopter. I would also like to show you today how construction work will look. It is of course a very early version and it will be subject to changes. Right now we can see the GUI, which in our opinion looks pretty good even now. Of course, being an early build it will be fixed and polished. Here we see some placeholder buttons, since we don't need all of those elements right now. As you've noticed, I've enabled construction of many different buildings. Construction cranes have shown up in predefined spaces. Right here, under the name of the building, we can see how long it will take to finish. While jumping to the next turn, this time will become shorter and the buildings themselves will grow. You can see some quick jumps through several turns, where we'll be able to see reports and summaries of what's been done in each of them. We'll also be able to get to know what's going on in the business or how our financing is doing. Here we have the first finished building, with some more placeholder screens available. The assembly plant is still under construction, which, being a huge building, understandably takes longer. With full infrastructure place, there will be over 25 different buildings available. In the bottom of the screen we see the mission bar, which will show information about our future travels or how our mission is doing in real time. Below, there are shortcuts for the most often used tools, so the player can have quick access. At the top, there will be a news bar, like in many other games of this genre. And that's about it for the first video of this kind. We hope you now know more or less how the start of the game will look. In the upcoming updates, we'll focus some more on research and how an usual turn in game will look. Thank you very much for your attention. We invite you to support us. Tell your friends, write on Facebook, spread the word. We can do this with your help. Till next time.